Apple's macOS Mojave is coming this fall, and it's bringing dark mode, a feature that users have been asking for for years. We're currently on the first beta of Mojave, and dark mode looks great, but it's currently a little bothersome to switch in between both modes. You have to go to System Preferences, General, and finally click to choose your mode. Well, thanks to Automator, we can now create a custom script that'll allow us to toggle between light and dark modes with a simple keyboard shortcut or button on your MacBook Pro's touch bar. Credit goes to Thomas Vercheron at vercheron.com for this find. To get started, open the Automator app and click New Document. Select Contextual Workflow and click Choose. In the Workflow Input Selection drop-down menu, choose No Input. If you have a touch bar, you can change the image that'll be used for the button. Within the action search bar, type Apple and double click on Run Apple Script. Now go down to the script box, select All and Delete. Copy the code in the video description and paste it into this box. You can test out the script by clicking the play icon. If dark mode switches on and off, your script works. Now go to File, click Save and name it Dark Mode. Open System Preferences, click on Keyboards, then go to the Shortcuts tab. Click on Services, and you should find Dark Mode at the bottom of the list. Make sure the box is checked, and click on Add Shortcut. I already have mine mapped to Command plus B. I have to note that it won't override global shortcuts, so you have to mess around with different shortcuts until you can find the one that works for you. Command B didn't work for me until I went up to the Send File to Bluetooth Device command and changed the shortcut to something that didn't involve the B key. Now, when I use this keyboard shortcut, it automatically toggles between light and dark mode. Take note that it won't work in other apps that are using the same shortcut as you are, like iTunes, for example, that uses Command B to hide column browser. Now for all you Touch Bar users. Go to System Preferences again, click on Extensions, and click Touch Bar. Make sure your dark mode workflow is enabled. Now go back to Keyboard Settings and click Customize Control Strip. You should be able to easily drag your dark mode workflow onto your touch bar and simply tap the button anytime you want to toggle dark mode on. Let us know how that script worked for you in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.